You're a bunch of idiots wearing masks. You know it's not real. How you heard what they said, right? And I'm telling you. You cannot require me to wear a mask. To park over somebody's drive. Is it drop? Don't get too close, please, because I don't want to breathe the same air as you. All right, welcome back, everybody, to episode four of Karen Meltdowns. So if you're not familiar with the series, we pretty much take a look at a bunch of viral Karens and give them a rating on the Karen scale. Now, the Karen scale is just me pretty much, you know, judging them based on their annoyingness, their their stubbornness, their Karenness, their meltdownness. You know, I've got a variety of factors. I am a seasoned Karen enthusiast. So last episode. Episode, we, we had a 10 out of 10 Karen, which was really, really surprising, honestly. Like, it's kind of like catching Pokemon. You, you never think you're gonna get a legendary shiny, but sometimes it just happens. And don't you worry, this episode's pretty juicy as well. We got five brand spanking new spicy Karens to watch today, and these Karens are what I call exquisite, dude. Exquisite. Anyways, let's start this off with the red shirt Karen. So, this Karen is mad because she's losing her shed, right? She she couldn't afford to keep it and naturally you know it's no longer her property and people are coming to take it away and she's not having it she's not letting the workers do their job okay one second in and I already know it's gonna be great like she starts off with the middle finger it doesn't get better than that also she's got um, some sort of a weapon in her hand I I'm look I'm looking for it to see what she does Dude. You're gonna hit me? Okay. You touched touch me. me. You just no, touched touch me. You. Yeah, Lady, let me, let me just be perfectly clear. Nobody wants to touch you. I can promise you without a shadow of a doubt in my mind that that man tried his level best not to touch you. But, you know, sometimes the, the surface area is just too wide and, you know, you can't really dodge a Karen, you know? It will take 10 f***ing minutes to get my goddamn race out of here. Let go of it. Now. You're messing with the wrong now this guy's pretty brave, not gonna lie. He's standing right in front of her, looking her in the eyes without flinching. I would think that the body odor would have knocked you out, but clearly you have a higher constitution than I. Anyways, me personally, I would never mess with the red Power Ranger. I, I mean, she looks like she's gearing up to spit in your face, dude. A and being an experienced um, Karen enthusiast myself, her spit is probably, I don't know, just judging by her whole body language, her spit is the equivalent of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Like, you don't want that shit touching you. No! Do I need to call the cops on you? No. For assault? No. Yes. But the you touched me first. Yeah, you did. Okay, so you approach the guy, intentionally bump into him, and then you try to hit him with a metal object, and then claim he touched you first, so it's justified. This is like the most poorly executed plan I think I've ever seen. This is worse than Tom and Jerry did. Also, I find it hilarious that uh, a Karen who can barely lift her arms is trying to swing a metal object, and you're so lucky he's being so passive. Like, he could easily retaliate and claim self defense. Fence, but 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 you're so weak and pathetic that he would rather just stand there and record you and laugh at you. I'm not moving. I'm I not said allowing. You move. I'm not moving and I'm yes. not allowing you to damage my property. Yes. No. Well, you went on my property without permission. I had permission. So you didn't. Written by you and signed by you. Where's it at? I have it in my contract. Where's it at? I don't need to show it to you. You signed it. You have a copy of it. You can no, go look at it. Let me have it. I don't need to show it to you. Yeah. You are not supposed to go on my property when it says private property. I can That's go on the there. law. So let me get this straight. She signed a document allowing you to be on her property and now is claiming there is no document. Now this is clearly a case of she can't afford to keep the shed. She can't let go of it. So she's fighting with everybody. And this is a legal matter, right? So you can literally go to jail for this, for obstructing somebody from doing their job. And I love how she's like, where's the paper? As if he's gonna carry around a legal document. Like what? <laughs> TikTok's gonna love this. TikTok. You TikTok. <laughs> Bunch of young little pussies anyway. That's all y'all are.
Okay, I think this Karen is redeeming herself, man. Like, I was sitting on a solid 7 out of 10, but I might have to drop a point, dude. Clowning on TikTok? Th that is always welcome in my book. Alright, so pretty much after this, the, the cops come to the area and force her to stop blocking this guy. And then and there ends the tale of the Red Power Ranger. Uh, I rate her uh, a 6 out of 10. She had the middle finger. She had the pathetic attempt at assault. She asked for the contract, which is pretty much akin to asking for the manager and finally she clowns on TikTok, which loses her one point so six out of ten well done moving on to the saddest karen story i've ever seen so this one's a male karen right a darren and this guy is raging in a mall about masks like you know he believes the virus is not real the classic you know except this one has a twist his sons are standing there beside him in sheer embarrassment having to watch their dad a fully grown man just lose his absolute marbles. These people won't learn. You're a bunch of idiots wearing masks. You know it's not real. Look at you fools. You got a fucking doily on your face. You look like you fucking got it off your mom's countertop. You look like an idiot. You're the child. Trying to make you wear a mask. Oh, no. Shut up. You're a dork. Look at you, you giant. What are you gonna do? So this man, out of nowhere, starts a speech in the middle of the mall, saying how dumb everybody in the mall is for wearing masks in a global pandemic. And then he proceeds to make fun of their appearance or whatever, don't really care. The sons are just standing there hopelessly, like they did not choose to be publicly humiliated today. Unfortunately, they, they have a terrible dad. Like, can you imagine, 50 years, they probably had to deal with this lunatic, just being an idiot in public. And the most heartbreaking part about this is one of the sons attempting to take him out of the store. D just watch. No Come outside! Come outside So he shoved his own son away just to do some cool guy talk like, Come outside! Let's take this outside! Th this isn't a f***ing movie, you idiot! Just get out the damn store! I'll beat that f***ing mask off your face like a f***ing ah. pussies! You're a bunch of pussies wearing masks! Losers! Goodbye! Dude, honestly, I imagine carrying your own dad out the store. I died inside while watching that. Like, you have to be the unluckiest person in the world to deal with a dad like that. And imagine calling calling someone a pussy when you're getting carried out the store, like, by your own sons. You f***ing loser and i noticed the sons weren't wearing masks as well i assume it's because the dad physically won't let them like he probably rips it off their face or something like I imagine trying to buy a mask with this guy in the house like he'll just assault you or something he, he doesn't even care if you're his son you just saw him push his son away he genuinely just has a meltdown whenever anybody mentions a mask and that's why the sons have to put their lives in danger because their dad's an actual man baby this is so sad like you can't even ditch your dad, dude. That's so sad. You have to just deal with it. And that's just heartbreaking. Honestly, um, great advice by me here. You know, just put your dad in a retirement over, right? Live your lives without the fear of dying because your dad's an idiot. I gotta rate that Darren a solid 9 out of 10. That was just perfect, dude. An actual man baby having a meltdown because people are wearing masks. Like, nobody even told you anything. Like, you went out of your way to have a meltdown and you embarrassed yourself sons in public. Okay, moving on to Karen number three. This one's just incredibly dumb. Pretty much a Karen genuinely thought that she could board an airplane during a global pandemic without a mask. I, I have never seen this level of stupidity. Take a look. What did they tell you? What did they tell you? Just calm down. I will be on that flight. Just calm down. Hey, Karen, you got to calm down. Hey, Karen, you got to calm down. Hey, Karen, you got to calm down. You mean I'm not taking my mother's Flight. Now you heard what they said, right? And I'm telling you, I'm not you. If I'm gonna beat your ass in the back, if I don't get on that flight, you gonna be beat down in the death right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen many a Karen in my time, but but this one's aggressiveness is truly remarkable. It's like she's surprised that she's not being let on the flight. Have, have you been living under a rock? This was the most obvious outcome. You took the time to actually prepare to go to the airport, but didn't get a mask. And then she proceeds to tell a staff member, I promise you, if I don't get on the flight, I will beat you down. As if he has a choice, if he lets you on, he'd get fired. Making a, a direct threat of violence.
violence in a public space. You you just have low IQ. I rate this Karen a 5 out of 10. You don't even get an explanation. Let's move on. Now, Karen number 4 is an absolute beauty. She goes into a store, not with a mask, right? but with the printed paper detailing why she can't wear a mask. So she comes in with a document, dude. Like what you show your teacher to leave school early. She printed this out and showed it to the cashier as if he would care. <laughs> I am speechless. There's no law. Ma'am, there's a sign that says mask required. There's no law. Why are you making me? There's no law. I don't care if there's no law. You cannot require me to wear a mask. You know that's all bullshit, right? I have a lady that comes in here with an oxygen tank and she still wears a face mask. Stop, I, read this. I don't care what that says. Are you going to serve me or not? Nope. Keep shaking. You are. I sure am. I love, I am what I eat. Okay, so I couldn't read the document because it's not really clear in the video, but it appears that she went to page 54 on Google and fished something out. You know when somebody really wants an answer like, oh, 2 plus 2 is 5, and then if you go to page 54 on Google, you'll probably see something that corroborates your theory, you know? that That's why nobody, that's why there's Google search results and, you know, the, the ones that are most clicked are on top. Also, uh, the guy said he eats booty to rub it in, so <laughs> that, that was just a bit of spice to the clip uh, I, I got a raider um a seven out of ten you know just for the effort man like wow you are dedicated to being an idiot now karen number five is, is straight out of a movie you know she, she gives us like an actual pov of a nutshell walking towards you with a stick and her british accent is just really the cherry on top you walk you are out of breath you've traveled about five meters yet you are mustering all your energy to walk towards this man and make him feel uncomfortable. This is just classic, man. Going above and beyond. Get out of him, You like stealing from your workplace. Why am I stealing from a workplace? You're a criminal. Now? Why am I a criminal? Well, for one, you're using your phone, aren't you? Oh, it's good evidence, isn't it? Ah, of course you got him. You're using your phone. That, that somehow means he's a criminal? Wow, I, I guess there's a lot of criminals running around. Jesus Christ. I give her a 5 out of 10 because another 5 meters and she's gonna collapse. And I would pay pay to see her to try to stand up, honestly. Anyways, fellas, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Um, we're gonna aim really high this time. 12,000 likes for part 5. I don't know if we can do it, but, you know, I believe in you guys. Thank you so much to my channel members for the support. Thank you to Kari, Kayo, Chaos, Daydreamer, and Tumis. And thank you all of you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. I appreciate it. See you guys tomorrow. Bye!